Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I am the Couch Warrior, and this is Unbound Season 2 Let's Play. This video series is the companion to Character Crusade Unbound podcast, and in each episode we explore Skyrim roleplay concepts and ideas through actual gameplay. Season 2 of the podcast is called The Ghosts of Yore, and our character concept is Breezy Baudelaire, student of the Order of the Divine Scribe. We have finally located, or we think we have located, one of these books. The Teachings of Shalador. And some necromancers have it. Alright, we bagged him before he could get that arrow off. That's good. All right, let's do this. Let's um let's re up the muffle. Okay. All right, that worked out all right. A little combination of wards and destruction magic seems to be working okay so far. As long as we can keep them in front of us, we're okay. It seems like when we get flanked, then they can break our wards pretty quickly. So, and as long as they're coming at us with sort of novice spells similar to what we're using, we seem to be okay. But that is not going to last long, is it? All right, so last time around we invested in magic again. We're going to invest in stamina. All right, so we've done destruction. We've done alteration. Let's take a, take a look here at alteration and see what we've got. Now, mage armor, some of these are only going to help us if we're wearing all robes. I've chosen not to do that. Uh, if not wearing armor, we are wearing armor. Alteration... I'm not going to really do the dual casting things yet, and we've got nothing else there that we can work on. So let's go down to the offensive, see what we've got here. Dual casting would be an option here. So we have been dual casting quite a bit. Dual casting a destruction spell empowers it, decreasing its effectiveness and cost. So, this will make our gust a bit more deadly, which is pretty good timing, I would think. Pretty good indeed. Fury. All right. All right, let's quick save here. Doesn't look good, does it? Is this our book? No. The Enchanter's Primer, though, that's good. That's a nice one to have. Let's have a look at this quick. Magica, Magica, Novice Hood. Okay. Nothing that we can disenchant. Gods and worship. Ethereum wards. 
don't have a copy of that. We'll take that. No lockpicks, damn it. blow them off the pedestals? We can. Gotcha. May as well take those, eh? Okay, let's see if we can get the jump on this clown. Pressing in, pressing in, pressing in. All right, we just overpowered him. We're kind of gaining some cool spell tomes here. Okay, lead them on a bit of a merry chase there. Right, Breezy's got a motor here. These guys have her overpowered, so we need to take a moment here to make sure we don't get overwhelmed. So let's burn some of these healing potions, first of all. And they seem to be using a lot of cold spells, so we'll do some resistance. Choke point! Choke point here. Let's use it. Let's use this choke point. Yeah. Breezy's got your number, bitches. I think that's what she would say. More spell books. More ingredients. Of course, they're all... Kind of not the sort of spells we would use. Oak flesh. Now that we would use. So. Breezy's not stupid. Oak flesh. We'll take that one. Okay, let's take a look here. Flame cloak we wouldn't use. Alarm. That's a utility spell, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Fury I don't see us using. Pale shadow, no. Uh, sparks we could use, Steadfast Ward we could use, Wild Healing we could use, maybe. The rest of these, I'm not so sure about. Alright, so 
<clears throat> if we go in here and let's do Okado's recital. Um, and then let's do Oak Flesh. And we're going to we're going to use Okado's recital to add Oak Flesh to our combat line up here. All right. So now that's going to give us even more protection when we go into combat. That was a really good find, I think. So we survived that. Let's quick save here. Continue on. Now that strikes me as an example of Breezy taking advantage of tactics a wee bit more. Thinking through what she's doing. Magic items we can use. Shalador's Insights. There it be. Nice. Done it. We done it. All right. Black Soul Gem. Ruined Book. Ah. Uh. So much death everywhere. Yeah, they were doing their dark experiments up here. Just kind of preying on people. All right, so if we take a look at Restoration here, Steadfast Ward, that's an apprentice spell, which means we can't cast that one for free. Given the fact that we can't cast it for free, I feel like we're still better off using a lesser ward for now because we can cast that one indefinitely. Um, granted, it's going to get broken pretty quickly by higher level mages, but it'll take care of some damage, right? All right. Well, fantastic. We've got the book. Now the question is, what does Breezy do next? Well, as I said before, I think her conscience is going to get the better of her, and she's going to go back to the lighthouse. And it is not far from here. So we're going to go back up the hill. I think we can go this way, can't we? We'll give it a shot. See what kind of mountain goat she is. All right, there's the lighthouse up there. So let's head on up there. And we're going to explore what happened to this family. All right. <clears throat> now, I think of the fact that she's doing this is an expression of two different things. Firstly, it's an expression of who she is as a person. She's compassionate. She's capable of being compassionate. I think there's a lot of people who view her as not a compassionate person, but those are people who don't really understand her. And then the other thing is, I think there may have been a point in time when she would have been afraid to try and do this, but now, coming off the heels of some recent successes, she feels like it, it may be possible for her to help here, and she's got perhaps a level of confidence going into this that she wouldn't have before. All right. 
Okay, we need to find a key. There's a key to the cellar. Now, if we search this, we find nothing. We dig around in the carcass. Can we find anything? Let's do it. Let's dig around the carcass, see what we can find. Now we found Charis eggs. So now Breezy has another piece of information. She knows what Charis eggs are because she's purchased them from the alchemists. Well, now she digs around in the carcass, she finds the eggs, she knows what a Charis is. She can recognize one. Oh, look it. Oh, I want that. Ah. The key. And some gold. Well, if it turns out these poor, unfortunate people are still alive, I'll give them back their gold and then some. We don't know what that sound is yet. Breezy doesn't, but it doesn't sound good, does it? So, based on what we learned in our experiences in Felglow, Breezy employs tactics. Traps. We see traps. We must avoid. Ooh. Nasty. Just got to avoid the poison. Get in that trap. No. Oh boy, we don't like these things. They absorb a lot of damage. It's kind of a miracle she didn't back up over those traps. I was hoping to run them into it, but they were pretty deft at avoiding them. for this family. Kind of weird because of course we've recently gone through this area with Raiden. So we keep getting led back to this. What is this? There's lots of blood everywhere. Whoa! Ah. All right, we're taking some shots now. From creatures we don't know what they are or understand. We can see that our Okado's recital is kicking in, though. And it's giving us our... our oak flesh armor automatically, which is great. Okay, we don't know how... how big this family is.
All right, I think of this wind rune, I'm using it enough. I sort of feel like I need to hotkey this. So we're going to put it in position four at the moment. What are you? Well, they got gold. So I guess they're worth searching. Ah, these will be handy. some more. Let's just take what we can here. Bow. Nasty. Very nasty. Ow. Oh, we got a new fortification available. Look at that. Honeycomb, tundra cotton, luna moth, and something. What we need is magicka regen. That would be brilliant. Some magicka regen. So let's use some potions. Not extra. We'll eat up some of this minor magicka. All right. We got a pretty nice choke point here if we can take advantage of it, but we got to get commit them to chasing us first. There we go. That's helpful. That sounded like a spider though. girl. Stay in it. Stay in it. We better heal. Okay, we got him down. Let's keep him down. Keep him down. There we go. Well done. Whew. That was a little too close. Luckily, I backed up the right direction, I guess. All right, let's save here. Thank you, Mr. The Fallen Legend. I surely do appreciate that. I have invested a large amount of my time in this game since 2011. And I try to make the best content I can, so I surely do appreciate that. That's my thank you. All right, let's continue on. Oh, man. As we're starting to get into some nasty stuff here. 
Okay. Now, what we know is we've got some other stuff at our disposal here. I'm not sure what the range is on this. It does 9 damage to health and magicka, a static cloud that follows the target, dealing up to 46 damage. I just don't know how long that goes. And I don't know what the range is on it. Okay, before we cast that, let's go ahead and do our muffle again. Try to give ourselves whatever advantages we can. We're going to do that. And... I think that's it for now. Alright, he's going to be taking continuous shock damage from that thing. Okay, I was on that ch that Charis, and I saw him coming, so I tried to cover my flank by running up against the side of this pillar here. I think I wasn't sure if he had range weapons or not. Technically, I guess he did, so that may have helped me a little bit. Hard to say. All right, now Crackle. I feel like that actually worked well for us. It's a novice spell. So we can cast it a lot if we must. Let's let it do its thing. Let's observe, though. I'm interested in seeing what kind of damage he's taking from this thing. It's a slow burn, but it's getting the job done. Look at that. That's so cool. And if we're using that in combination with our other spell capabilities... Um... It's almost like having a little companion with you that's dishing out damage. All right. Let's check this out. All right. Here we found another family member. Okay. Not great. Okay. All right, we got to keep moving. What we know is that these creatures attack them in their home and the father is giving chase. All right. Let's take another look here. So Crackle, that seems to be pretty damn useful. That's Breezy Storm Cloud. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, we got lockpicks. Yay. Um, I love that little storm cloud. That thing is awesome. I almost feel like we should give it a name, as if it were a pet. Alright, that could, in fact, 
crackle could come in quite handy now. Alright, see that? When we initially cast a spell, it's, it's taken a, some damage when it's first hit, and then it takes additional damage as it kind of goes along, right? Alright, now we got the other one. And look at they're both taking damage at the same time. So we can have more than one of these spells in effect at the same time, which is good to know. Alright, now... Let's put a Wind Rune... Down there. If we can. No, we can't. It's too far. It's too far. All right. I am not at all willing to get down in there until I feel like these bastards are a bit more compromised. There you go. Alright, that's one. Crackle provides kind of a nice distraction in a way, doesn't it? heal. Alright, we got... We don't have any kind of poison resistance, per se. Whoa, man. Nasty. Oh, look at all these. Okay, F five. sell this? Could I sell these Charis eggs? Or I could make invisibility potions with it, right? I just gotta find these Luna Moth wings, whatever those are. Let's take a few of these.
All right. The other thing I think is interesting here, too, is because Breezy is in such dire straits financially, it gives her an incentive to explore areas of crafting, now that I think about it. So she's got this perfect incentive to travel the map, and she's got a perfect incentive to do some unusual kinds of crafting uh, to make money. Which I like. It means that she's got a reason to get out and experience things. Which is an ideal situation in this game, where you really want to get out there and check things out. Um... All right, now, let's quick save here so we don't have to do all that harvesting again. Now, let's be smart about this. Um, we're going to dual cast our muffle. Again, the muffle is... Um, it's a novice level spell, so it doesn't cost us anything to do it. Okay. That is out of range. Ooh. Okay, I got one of them caught up. Okay, we gotta be careful here. I mean, that... That poison's no joke. Ooh, God. It's like an acid or something. You can just hear it sizzle away. It's nasty. I don't like it. Got another one caught up. Enjoy! Uh. Missed on that one. I think it's too far away. Alright. Oh. It's not not the most dynamic combat in the world, but it's smart from a character's perspective, I guess. Okay, there's two. I wonder how many of these I can do. If they were in, in range, I could find out. There's three at once. Awesome. Gotta like that. I'm caught up in it. I just love that. All right, I see um, an idea out there for Vexus as a name. Not bad, but how about Nimbus? You cumulo Nimbus, right? What do you think about that? It's going to be her new buddy, Nimbus. We'll actually name it after a cloud type. Oh, oh, that's the big one. Too far out. They don't seem to have any problem hitting me with their artillery, but... Nim. Okay, Nim for short. So the name is going to be Nimbus. Nim for short. Ha. Huh. Missed me, Biatch. Gotcha. Ooh. She's smart. Look at her. She digs out of there pretty quick. God, I wish I knew how many were left. Get him, Nim. Look at, they flee big time. I want that Reaper to come back. I want to hit her with one of these. Damn it. All right. 
there's so many of them in here, I just have to be super cautious because we could get overwhelmed very quickly. All right, let's pull back a bit here. Hang on. Let's take a quick look at our staff inventory as well. So 25 points of damage, twice as much magic of damage, hailstone, health and stamina. I don't know. I just, I don't feel like, I don't feel like these are going to do much more damage than we can do with our spells. I feel like we're, we're better off focusing on our spell capabilities. I really want to unleash Nim, but the second I go down here, I might be trapped. Do you think I could climb back up this way? Let's do... Yeah, I guess I can get back up that way, but it, it takes time. Look at that, we've kind of scared them off. They don't even want to deal with me right now. And I don't even know where the bug is gone that came out of that thing. All right. If we got to get back up here, we can. It just isn't going to happen fast, so we have to be careful here. What I like here, too, though, is that when Nim goes after them, they back off. So if we need to whittle down the numbers that we're facing, we could use Nim to back them off while we take on others. Okay, here's one killed by Nim. Alright, that's good. Alright, there's the big one. God, I wish I knew where they were. There could be ones on the trail above us. We don't know. Okay, light armor's going up. That's good news. Gotta like that. Okay, let's sit tight for a second. Back off. No? Another one down. There were so many. Did I miss some bodies? I wonder. Okay. If you found this note then I have failed to kill the creatures that invaded my home and killed my family. Please avenge us if you are able. Kill every last one of these blighted monsters and take what I've left in the chest on the roof of the lighthouse. I won't be needing it. Shit. Okay, let's get in here for cover. Gotcha. Take that. Nim does some decent damage, I gotta say. Nice dagger. I really can't honestly tell you what happened here. I mean, at one point, I, th I feel like we were facing four or five. And if Nim killed them, I don't know where the bodies were deposited because I don't see them anywhere. We found one, and we just killed one up above. 
right? Oh man, where did she go? Freaking me out a little bit, I gotta say. Where did she go? No way. Oh, she's back. Press that attack. Press that attack. There it is. Uh... Okay. I can't search... that. So, we need to check here and see if we found the remains. Right? No. I have to be able to search the Reaper in order to get that, but the way that she died, I can't. Okay, so... I... Th Ugh. Well, let's do this. Let's quick save here, and then I'm going to quickly reload. And we'll see if that that breaks her body out of that paralysis. There we go. There we go. Lighthouse key, the remains, and a silver ring. We'll take those. Yeah, I think some weird stuff is going on in here. I mean, look at that. We we had one of these things break out of its husk and obviously had to fly away. We never encountered it, and I don't see a body anywhere. Unless maybe maybe Nim is so powerful that that uh he vaporizes them. <laughs> I don't know. What are these? Let's take some. They got to be useful for something, right? I don't know. Grab a couple of those. All right. Well, we've accomplished something here. Now, we know that Hab is dead. Nothing to be done about that. Oh, shit. That's where one of them ended up right there. That was unexpected. And you can tell Nim had already got at him because he had taken damage previously. So, otherwise we would have been back to the wall in a dead end with nowhere to go. That was that actually worked out okay. All right, let's continue. Well, we know now that these people aren't coming back. The whole family has been wiped out. And so... Breezy has solved the mystery. She's avenged the family, and she's not going to be shy. About collecting items that might help her in her quest. To try and make back a, some money. Which she is going to spend all too fast. Okay. Everything accounted for here? What was equipped? Something was equipped. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at this. We got this. Okay. So we don't need that anymore. Okay. Honeycomb. Tundra cotton. 
Uh, yeah. Interesting that we need Lunamoth Wing. Because we're also going to need that. What was unequipped? What is being equipped and unequipped? I can't tell what that is. We're also going to need that to make our invisibility potions based on the recipe that we purchased. Okay, what is being equipped and unequipped? I feel like something's glitching here. I'm looking to see... Okay, these are the journals. Mysteries of Talara. Take that. Take that book. Wolf Queen. We don't have that, but we can't possibly carry everything. We have to kind of pick our battles with book inventory here. More journals. Um... Sorry, y'all, but we can use these items. Help the living stay living. Immortal blood. All right. Well, we made it through this. So, let us get up to the top of the lighthouse and see what he has left for us. I'm not sure what that equipping and unequipping was. Um, it's an odd glitch. Okay, sailors repose. We got that. And we got the key for this. Got some moon sugar, whatever that is. And scroll of oblivion unbound. Invokes an unholy rage in a summoned or raised creature, granting 200% attack and movement speed. It gains 10 points per second and lasts 60 seconds. Well, we will take that, and we don't need a Steel War Axe. All right. Breezy's got to be tired as hell, but there's no way she's going to stay here, and we are close enough to the Mage College that we may as well just get ourselves back there. So let's do that. Before we leave, we're going to eat some bread and some cheese and some water. Try to freshen up a bit here and get, get our energy up for the run back. All right.
Whoa, that was close. Off you go, pooch. All right, we got to be careful here. Got all these glaciers and crevasses we have to watch out for. What is this? Look at crap. Okay, I gotta. At some point, I gotta remember what I've got equipped here. Okay, drop zone. So she's gonna use her wind power to break her fall here. Long stride. Kind of puts the wind at her back, right? Let's try to figure out where we're at here and what we're contending with. Ah, we know this, right? Okay. So what do we know about this? Got to get our bearings. So that is the platform where that we're familiar with. So when we came to Thar Sarthal, we came down this way, which should take us this way should be the trail we need. See what Nim can do here, hey? out of that radius. <laughs> okay. Now the question is why were we attacked? Is there a reason? Doesn't seem random, right? If it were a bandit, we might think it's random, but the fact that we're being attacked by a mage seems odd. So... Just one more ingredient to add to our role-play soup, if you will. Now, she's gone out on her first job for Urag Grow Shub. And let's take stock for a moment of what she's accomplished. She's recovered the writings of Shalador. She's recovered three stolen books. She's also recovered... Uh, another special book. I, we don't know what its significance is, but it was on her list. As well as determined the demise and avenged a, a murdered family, which she is going to be able to report back. Right? She's done a whole bunch of stuff, and she's been gone about four days, something like that. So as I see it, these accomplishments are going to precede her. If Urag Grow Shub knows where these books are, he's probably also going to know when they've been successfully recovered. And so she should be coming back with a better reputation, with a good reputation, right? People knowing... Wait, what was that? There we go, right there. That's cool. That's the Mage College. 
checking her security clearance, as we talked about earlier. So she should be returning having significantly increased her reputation as a person who can get shit done. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean she's going to walk in a conquering hero. One of the things that we need to think about is not just who Breezy is, but who are the people around her. And people are people, which means some of them would give her a pat on the back and some of them would be, do nasty things driven by jealousy. So we need to take those things into account as we kind of enter the next stage of our role play here. And so, as we talked about earlier, the full college is revealed to her now because of her improved status. She's considered to be a trusted member of the Mage College now, so implementing uh, Immersive College of Winterhold kind of adds some really cool stuff here that helps to emphasize that, which I love. Whoa, they brought it in here. And look at all this. So she's been gone for less than a week, but some really kind of amazing things have happened in her absence. Everyone's been busy, not just her. Whoa! Cooling off? What's going on with that? Uh, seems inappropriate, but what's going on? It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Uh, yeah, all I'm going to embrace is education. I hope you're not expecting anything else. That's weird. What was he doing? Is he a perv? Or is he just eccentric? Oh wow, look at this. The plaque reads, Proposed model of Mundus derived from astrological data collected at the Imperial Orrery by Wizard Bothiel, 3rd Era 434, enchanted by Wizard Delmar, 3rd Era 435. Wow, fascinating. Oh, look at that. We just frickin' learned something. Oh, shit, this would have been handy. Uh, right. Where, where are we? Way over there. Wow. This would have been real handy. Thanks a lot, assholes. Wow. Upgraded clearance has its benefits, I guess. Hey, boss. I see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? What are you talking about? Is that... Yes, sir. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Of course, of course I understand. Here's those Looks books. Looks like you're still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. 30. 30 gold? Are you serious? Okay. Um. Well, here are well, the books that went missing. You seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. 
Great. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you uh, read it yourself? No. If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Oh, thanks. Um, okay, so, listen, I found also this. Excellent. I'll start translating it. Shouldn't take me more than a day or two. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, I'll ask you about the translations later, because uh, unlike yourself, I'm actually going to give you time to do stuff. Is there anything else I can assist with here, or what? There are more books to be recovered and secured here in the Arcanium. All right. I'll take that on, uh, but I may not be leaving for a couple days. I got classes and stuff. Well, all right. Here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. All right. Thanks. Uh, interesting. All right, then. All right, he gave me some new books. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Actually, I need if to talk to you. If there are any problems, let me know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. Um, let's see. I need to learn new spells. Well, that depends on what you're looking for. Veralda can teach destruction spells eh. and offers training in that school. Okay. Finis is one of the best conjurers in all of Skyrim and can help with spells from that school. Don't let Tolfdir fool you. He's the preeminent scholar on alteration. One of the best in Tamriel, and always willing to pass on his knowledge. Okay. If you can find him and focus his attention, there's a great deal Drevis can teach you about illusion magic. Right. And finally, there's Colette. She may be... difficult to get along with. She's very knowledgeable when it comes to restoration magic. Honestly, uh, Tolfdir makes me a little uncomfortable. But what else is expected of me here? I mean, as an exchange student. There are no expectations. This college is a place to study and practice magic freely. Hopefully any discoveries made in your pursuits would be shared with the members of the college first. That way we all benefit. All right. You know anything about this Sigic Order? No more than anyone else, I don't think. They're a very old order. Predated the Imperial Majors Guild by quite a bit. In fact, the Mages Guild was founded in opposition to the idea of the Sigic Order, that only an elite few should have control over magic. No one has seen mm. or heard from them in over a hundred years now, though. All right. Well, great. Ugh, I'm tired. Ugh. This thing is cool. Maybe I'll check it out when I'm more awake. Yeah. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off limits. Right. Apparently, nudity isn't off limits. Please don't bother the archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Oh, I won't. Ah. Uh. Good grief. I just can't talk to him in that condition. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we testing new spells, like resist cold spells, or what's going on? Or is it just bath day? my room I guess it is all right well uh, excuse me Emperor. might I have a moment let's have a look what real quick 
at some of these books that we got, and we'll see if we can learn anything from them. And that is the next step, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. It's been kind of a long one. Thanks for checking it out. If you'd like to get involved and play along with us, check out unbound.charactercrusade.com for current play rules. If you can join, you can join and discuss with us everything that's going on in your own characters in our Discord community at discord.charactercrusade.com. You can find Character Crusade Unbound podcasts on iTunes and YouTube. We also live stream all of our episodes, so you can visit the website at charactercrusade.com. Find a full schedule of all of our podcast live streams. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode.